Hello friends, today I will show you how you can generate points at road edges and at specific intervals. The application of this is when you want to prepare a setting out drawing, this can be useful. So the entire video is divided in four parts. In for pa first part, we will create one corridor surface and in second part, we will generate points at uh, each lane edges and apply elevation to them in the third part we will learn how to give description for each points and in the last part we will import that points with uh, description so let's start the in this part we will create one corridor surface so this is one alignment which i have drawn it is having one radius transition course and it requires super elevation so after selecting this you can apply the super elevation so i have already done that and if you want to see detailed super elevation view you can create this uh, create super elevation view tab so after that you can see the super elevation and uh, you can see each change where different different points uh, like where a normal crown ends where level crown starts you can see that and I also designed the profile so I will simply join the first point and last point and uh, for the cross section the lane widths are 3.5 meter so two lanes on the left hand side and two lane on the right hand side based on that I have created one corridor so this is my corridor so now I want to create my proposed surface so how can I do that? So go to the corridor properties, go to the surface tab. So I have already created that. Uh, I will delete this one. So this is my, uh, this option will create a new surface. So you can see this is currently the blank surface. So I have to apply some codes into it. So these are the codes. So I can create a surface at uh, various codes. So if I select the top, then it will create my surface at top layer, top uh, top of the carriageway. If I select datum, it will create a surface at the datum level. So if you want, uh, like uh, suppose you want levels for of your ages at uh, datum level, so you can use this option. If you want uh, at base level, you can use this option. So, so currently I am doing it for the top level. But you can apply this uh, wherever you want and I for there is no overhang correction but I am giving still top links and I will select this as a break line. So once I apply this my surface is ready. Currently the style is no display for my corridor surface. So I will make it uh, let's say triangulation. So yeah, uh, the style is not, yeah, so, or I can say select contour style. I don't want arrows, so yeah, so you can see super elevation is applied at this location. This is normal crown location and you can see there are some additional contours here. So this is based on extra triangulation. So if I want the accurate surface, so what I will do is I will apply boundaries. So next to the surface, there's a boundary tab. So there are various options. Uh, you can add it from polygon. You can add interactively, or you can simply uh, specify your corridor extent as your outer boundary. So if you select the first option and rebuild the boundary, then it will take the corridor extent as a boundary so there will be no extra triangulation outside corridor boundaries so this way you can create your surface in this part we will generate points at each lane edges and apply elevation to them so there are various country kits uh, in which you can take reports at uh, different different feature lines so you can but in this uh, method uh, we will not use any report 
we will use point tool for creating that so you can see in the point tool we are having different different options so for this example i will use alignment option and i will use uh, this option major alignment so i will select that uh, you can directly select it from here or otherwise you can go to point creation tool and from this tab you can select major alignment so it will ask you for selection of alignment so i will select the alignment it will ask me the profile so for now you can choose any of the profile later on we will again give the elevation so i will choose the design profile my starting station will be zero and ending station will be the last chain edge now it will ask me offset so either i can generate point on the center line or my carriageway edges so i will say i want uh, on the right hand side at 3.5 meter so i will give 3.5 meter and it will ask me interval this interval is based on the center line change so if i give 10 meter interval it will generate point at every 10 10 meter interval similar way if i want to do it for the left hand side i will follow the same procedure and then uh, start station and station will remain same and the offset will be minus 3.5 for the left hand side and interval is 10 meter so you can see my points are generated at 10 meter intervals and these are in line with the main line changes so if you generate uh, levels on particular string then it will refer the change of that particular string so these are referring the change of center line so this way you can generate points at uh, you are at carriageway edges or if you want at uh, your embankment locations or you want at your uh, pair shoulder edges and uh, if you want uh, different styles for your point you can show your instead of cross you can show different different symbols and you can show different different description so i if i want a description uh then point quotes and labels i can cre create that so we will see this in the next part but this way you can create uh, points at your carriageway edges so in this part we will apply elevation to the points which we have generated and then we will apply description to that points as well so you can see these are the points what we have generated so these are the labels based on the offset of the center line so i want to provide exact labels which includes my super elevation everything so what i can do is i will select one point and use select similar command and then i will go to elevation from surface and i will select my design surface so it will give me the exact levels now the next step is a uh, description so i will go to the point group properties and i will select a uh, description and elevation style so you can see it is giving me description like alignment dash 10 dash 350 and this is my elevation so i want some suitable description here so how can I do that? So just on the left side tool space, go to the points and select all the points and copy to clipboard and take it to the Excel. So it will it will take all the values, uh, all the points. So it is having number, resting, northing, elevation, name, description, everything. So I don't need uh, anything uh, after this. So I will delete everything and uh, I don't even need this name so I will delete this. Now I want a name so I want uh, left hand side and uh, I want uh, this change to be there in the description. So how can I do that? So first of all I will start from the left hand side so I will rename the numbers from 1. So you first two cells uh, correct number and then drag it next is for easting northing and elevation 
currently it is in the text string so if I remove the M symbol with the find and replace command so type M and replace it with space so it will replace all now the next is uh, description so I want uh, for the left hand side I want L and uh, I need chain is 0 and then 10 20 and go on so if I keep space between this and this then it will not work so suppose I 0 10 20 and if I select this and I double click it it will not work so if there is no space between this two then if I double click this will work and for all the cells I want L now I will use concurrent command and I will combine these two text strings now I will copy this and paste it to the description cell as a value so now I don't need this one now what I will do is I can save this as a CSV file or I can create one notepad file so I will again use concurrent command and I will use the point then each thing sorry then northing then elevation and at last description and I will double click it I will copy this and I will paste in this notepad file and I will save it now if I again go to the civil 3d now I will remove these points and now I will uh, import all the points and create uh, the with it create points with the description so that we will see in the next part now in this part uh, we will apply the points which we have created so how to do that so you have to go to the point creation tool now the, in the last there is a option you can import it from file so this is similar to what we are doing for the existing ground surface so I will select this which file which I have created and I will select PENZD format number, listing, northing, elevation and description you can see it is picking this description and if I will click OK my points are generated and now you can see it is giving my left hand side 10 meter and this is my elevation so now I can uh, small, keep this point smaller to match my scale but this way I can do it for the left hand side right hand side you can use this uh, for any other application also where you want to generate points at uh, some strings and want to show different different uh, elevations descriptions yeah. so, and you even if you can show the offset like this is 3.5 meter from the center line string so this way you can use this point creation tool thank you for watching this video and for more videos please subscribe our channel and also you can join our facebook page as well for more updates thank you very much